everyone and welcome to Having Brighter Days. My name is Deanna and today we're going to be doing our four inch round coaster molds and I pulled out some bee inspired napkins. We're going to go ahead and set those in our resin and let's see how they turn out. I just did about 15 drops of white uh, pigment dye into my resin and I, I don't know oh I don't know what size cups these are and what I like to do is I like oh there's some bugs in there it's, um, I like to dye the bottom coat, or the bottom layer. I like to dye that white. And what that does is it helps the napkins, the color in the napkins just pop. And uh, I'll add that and I'll kind of let it sit for about two hours, three hours until it's tacky. And then I'll cut my uh, or I'll place my cut napkins in on top of the white resin. So let's go ahead and add that. And with this first layer, um, it doesn't need to be a very thick layer, just enough to reach the bottoms, or sorry, to reach the sides, if you want the napkin to kind of appear at the bottom half of the coaster. Or if you want the napkin to be like at the top half, you would just fill your mold up, obviously fill it up more. coaster molds. I cut these to be three and a half inches and that allowed me, that gave me room so I can get the napkin to fit in there and it wasn't gonna buckle around the edges. So I just used my Cricut and I cut a perfect circle. No fuss. And these napkins, what I thought would be cute is if I, I have four different designs on one napkin and if I can get the bee inspired with the little bee in there on two of them I might be able to get the bee in there yeah I can on two of them and then the other two I can use this bee pattern so let's cut these out
have the three ply. So you got, you're gonna go ahead and remove all the different layers until you just have your design only. And I know it seems um, very dull, but once we add it to the white resin and the molds, it's really gonna make all those colors pop. So there's my two layers, one, two. I'm gonna keep that one. And sometimes if they're a little tricky, just get your fingers and kind of roll it. There you go. And you can there's one and there's two. Okay, so now let's go. Um We'll go over to our coasters. Okay, so I got my first layer and I like to just grab a toothpick just to kind of help me push the napkin down and I just start on one end and let the resin grab it. Go ahead and do our second one. Start on one side. Okay, I'm gonna let those uh, finish curing, cover them up so I don't get any critters in them, and we'll go ahead and do our top coat after. I put on my top coat so they are ready to get demolded. A little overspill right there so we can cut that off with my Because 
so the back is just the white. I think these would make uh, perfect gifts for teachers, um, you know, principals, staff members, faculty members. I love it. Oh, it came out so cute. Got the nice round dome it doesn't have that uh, like lip that sometimes you get if you don't fill your molds so I just want to clean that this kind of had a little bit of overspill so I just have a oh, oh my goodness I just have uh, one of the sh my one of my blades from my Cricut set and it works nice to just kind of peel Peel any bumps. Uh, you can. I also sometimes use a um, like a nail file. That works as well. I just want to be careful that I don't cut too hard, so I don't create like a like a divot on my coasters which I might <laughs> I'm so scared I might have to um, I might get my nail file out I feel a little bit more confident doing that then yeah let me find that oh I know I have one somewhere had one ah there it is okay let's just kind of lightly brush there we go yep this is working out a lot better. Just to kind of fix that little overfill area. Kind of just filling around, see if I see any other areas. I'm just going to kind of do a double pass at these. I think this was when I, I was trying to scoop it. I think I like filled a couple of these up a little too much and I was scooping them, scooping it out to share with the other ones that didn't have enough. And I might have just kind of spilled the resin over onto the mold, I think. from the other ones. Spot right there. Okay. And I just pulled out my paint marker. This is from overseas. And this is the gold. Does it have like the exact color? I don't think so. It came in a box. Oh, this is the box it came in. 
Uh, it came with white, silver, gold, red, and black. And I like, I like the use of this. It doesn't have a strong smell, uh, which is beautiful. I love that fact. Let's give it a little shake. And I have my little cardboard tester out just to get the paint to come in. And let's get painting the edges.